Well, hello and welcome to this week's edition of Midweek Online. My name is Josh and I'm the youth pastor here at LifePoint Church. Thank you so much for scrolling, finding us. Maybe you watch every week and this is just something that you do. Maybe you get in a DM from one of our leaders. Uh, but man, I'm so happy that you're here. We have a very special treat tonight uh, on this week's edition uh, of Midweek Online. Uh, we have Christian Chambliss, uh, the director of Arizona Youth Alive, uh, who's going to be, uh, he's bringing the Word, but it's actually a devotional from Youth Alive's um, YouTube channel. Go find them. Go subscribe to them. Go get in contact with them if um, Youth Alive is something maybe you've been thinking about uh, on your campus. Maybe you're a part of one and you're trying to, to start one on your campus now. And so, um, man, it's going to be an incredible, incredible word. I'll see you guys on the other side. Hey, I want to talk to you about a student I went to high school with named Aaron. Uh, Aaron was a good kid and uh, grew up in a good home, good family, and early in middle school got mixed up in the wrong crowd, started smoking weed and getting in trouble with the cops. And as life progressed, Aaron's life became uh, pretty fueled by substances and partying. He became known at our school as the party animal. Uh, and he didn't have a, a day or a weekend where he wasn't living it up. And he kind of became known as the kid once the party was dying down, he was just getting started, you know what I mean? It was, it was getting a little out of hand really quick. So eventually, the party lifestyle turned into a lifestyle where he couldn't function without substance. He was a full-blown junkie drug addict by junior year in high school. And one night in senior year, he got invited to a party. And just like every other, every other night, he goes and he has fun. And, uh, but this night was a little different. Um, the drug of choice that night was a little stronger than what he was used to. Uh, so he, he ate a big handful of what's called molly. And um, things went south real quick. And before you know it, uh, Aaron's finding himself feeling like he's not doing well. And as the night turns out, he, he feels that his, his, his breath is getting tight, his, his, his heartbeat is racing out of his chest, can't feel his legs and his face, and he's beginning to realize he's experiencing the onset of an overdose. And so what does he do? He reaches out to the girl that he's with, his friend, and uh, he begs her to take him to the hospital, and she wouldn't do it. And so his friend was willing to let him die pretty rough stuff, am I right? So Aaron now is forced to figure out what to do. And by miracle, Aaron didn't die that night, but a little, little piece of him did. So he needed a game changer event, a game changer friend to come into his life. So I'm gonna tell you about his game changing friend named Drake. You see, Drake, uh, Drake was a kid in our school who loved Jesus and he loved people. And uh, Drake got a car in junior year of high school. And after he found out the situation with Aaron, what he did is he offered Aaron a, a ride to and from school every single day. And um, the last three months of high school, through giving him a ride to school and home from school, Drake led Aaron to Jesus in the passenger seat of a vehicle in 2009 in Oklahoma. And Aaron went on to make something of his life, get married, have to get two degrees and uh, move to Arizona and is talking to you right now. My name is Christian Aaron Chambliss. I'm the product of a game changing friend, someone who loved me for me, someone who lived their life like this. In John chapter one, verse 41, uh, we see the story of Andrew meeting Jesus. And he says, Jesus, I wanna follow you. And here's what he did. After he met Jesus, he says, he first found his own brother, Simon Peter, and told him, we have found the Messiah, and he brought him to Jesus. I want to ask you a question today. Who are you bringing to Jesus? Drake brought me to Jesus. Andrew, when he met, his, when he met Jesus, he brought his brother, Simon Peter, to Jesus. Now, what did Simon Peter go on to do? Simon Peter went on to preach after Jesus had died and rose and went back to heaven. Peter preached and 3,000 people got saved in one day and thus started the movement of the Christian church that we're a part of, the Christianity that we're a part of today. Andrew was a game changer for his brother, 
Peter. And Drake was a game changer for Aaron. In the world we live in, people need a game changing friend. What kind of friend are you? What kind of person are you in people's lives? I dare you, I challenge you to be a game changer. Man, what a word from Christian. There are game changers in, in our lives and there are people around us that we can be a game changer to. I think that that is just such a good word and uh, it's just so good to be able to hear uh, from people like Christian. And, and again, if you are interested in starting a Youth Alive program, uh, a club on your campus, maybe you're a part of one already, uh, man, um, just go follow them. Uh, get in contact with them. Uh, they are great guys and girls, man. That team is incredible. I can't speak on them enough, man. It is awesome. I hope that this message really encouraged you today, and I hope that you would take that and encourage someone else. Make sure to send this to uh, a few friends who might need to hear this, and uh, we're just so happy that you spent your night, your Thursday night with us uh, man, and I hope that, that you would stay connected with us. We want to hear from you. Shoot us a DM if you need prayer, if you would like to um, just learn more about LifePoint Youth or Arizona Youth Alive, man, please let us know. Um, get in contact with us. We would love to be able to talk with you, to pray with you, to encourage you. And we are better together. We truly believe that. If you are new, brand new, maybe maybe you've never heard of us before, make sure that you like um, and you, you follow us on Facebook and Instagram at LPYouthAZ. You can find us on YouTube as well. Maybe that's where you're watching. It's uh, LifePoint Youth dash Prescott Valley. And you can also find us on our website at lifepointaz.com slash LPYouthAZ. And you can find even more information. You can get all of the, the contacts and everything that you would need um, to get in contact and stay in contact with us. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you next week.